The first two feuds for CM Punk have been revealed. We also have new details behind CM Punk's promo that he cut on Raw, and an AW star has reacted to Punk's return. It's all in the wrestling news. Hello everybody, Jack and Fraser here with a delicious slice of Wednesday wrestling Ooh, news. Ooh, delicious. Yeah, delicious slice hey, it's of it. treat day, Jack. Uh, Justin Barrasso of Sports Illustrated has revealed a major money match that could be in CM Punk's future, Fraser. Ooh, yeah, I think the talk that he's been the talk of the wrestling world this past weekend, and I guess the first question many people asked is what is going to be his first few feuds and, and this report says there are plans for Punk to feud with Roman Reigns Sports Illustrated reports but it will not be Punk against Reigns first as that spot belongs to Seth Rollins uh, a feud between Rollins and Punk is it's, it's massive, right? That's yeah. got to be one of the biggest feuds that anyone could possibly fathom for CM Punk coming back to WWE. Yeah. And we saw that at Survivor Series with him saying naughty words on the entrance ramp. Yes, but also then Punk mentioned Reigns in his promo. Did. Um, and or Did he imply that he, he would imp He implied it, yeah. He, said, he mentioned a wise man. Yeah, so a wise yeah. man once told me, you know, mm. you've got to leave and come back. And obviously... Heyman's the wise man. He didn't mention Roman by name, but I think everybody pretty much agreed that it seemed very clear, especially once reports came out indicating that Rollins' reaction was a work at Survivor Series, that uh, that would be the first feud for Punk. Yeah. But this Roman news is a little bit surprising for me. They've, that's that's my. I mean, it's massive. It's the biggest feud they could possibly book. It is, and my only worry is, does this mean that Cody's not finishing the story? Does this mean because to make that feud even bigger, you would obviously want the title involved and have something there, but. Would that come at the cost of Cody Rhodes getting to to finish what his his goal has been and what we've all been expecting to happen a year ago? Um, and that's sort of my biggest worry. But it is the biggest possible feud, I think. We saw uh, at All In CM Punk leaving mm. leaving Wembley, acknowledging the Tribal Chief. Oh right, okay, that's it, what he was doing. He was doing it there, so it's it's been built in there. Um, it's yeah. almost like if they wanted to put the belt on Cody, there was no better time than last year's WrestleMania. Last year's WrestleMania. Yeah, come on, guys. Uh, the Sports Illustrated report goes on to say Punk can still wrestle at a high level. Yeah, we know, oh, yeah, yeah. but his work will only be enhanced in the ring. This is an opinion disguised as a fact. I'm not sure about, it. but yeah, his work will <laughs> only be enhanced in the ring with a world class wrestler like Seth Rollins. While it's not the current favourite, there are plenty of reasons to believe that Punk Rollins could serve as the main event for the opening night of WrestleMania 40. For Rollins, that would simply not be the case without Punk, and I think that's fair. Um, Punk and Rollins are kind of similar in a way. Rollins has main event at WrestleMania, but only uh, with the last minute cash in. Yeah, and it, that's weird to think yeah. that it was back at WrestleMania 31. The only time Rollins has got that main event spot is because of that. I mean, Reigns has dominated the main event of WrestleMania yeah. for years and years and years. And it's it would be, I imagine, add a lot of fuel to the fire of this feud if the only way that Rollins gets it is because of Punk. And, and vice versa. And yeah. Because like, Punk's always covered at the main event of WrestleMania, never quite got it. Yeah. Uh, and that was a famous big bugbear of his when mm. it all ended sour last time. Uh, new details have... New, de 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 can't talk. new details have emerged behind CM Punk's promo on Raw. Uh, a promo which um, caused a, a very mixed response, I'd say, because a lot of people said this is very... This sounds uh, scripted for a CM Punk promo. He's still yeah. very good at putting words together and making them sound natural, but even people could notice, even by his standards, it just felt a little bit... Felt like, tame. A it, little, it felt yeah. tame, it felt reeled in, a sort of like, right, here's my first night with a live microphone, I've got to be on my best behavior, mm -hmm. and just toe the company line. A lot of people comparing it to MJF being like robotic punk. Right, okay. And in that promo in AEW where he was like, oh, it's so great to be in Insert City. Right. And it felt a little bit like that, but... I thought it was a decent enough promo. I thought it was fine, but it was more what it meant that I wasn't so sure about. I thought, oh, well, are we really going to get the punk we want to see? Uh, and then the little bit he said off mic at the end when he said, I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to make money. I thought, see, that, and now a lot of people have been theorizing, is he secretly a heel? He's the mask will slip. And I'd love that. That would yeah. be a great story. Yeah. Um, but PW Insider have reported the punk's promo was shorter than intended due to Randy Orton versus Don Mysterio running longer than expected. I think you could tell he wasn't pausing as long as he normally does for the crowd reaction to build. Yeah. He's kind of just getting through it. Um, they also know PW Insider that um, WWE or CM Punk never had plans for Punk to criticize AEW in that first promo back, partly due to ongoing legal issues, which seems to have been echoed by Tony Khan, who yeah. says I can't talk about it, and also because Punk apparently just has a desire to move on from the situation. But apparently, as Raw went off air, he did do a victory lap, which is what the Bucks did when he got fired. Yeah, so, although Fightful Select have confirmed that that was not the case, oh. it did just look like it. So okay. he did, it was a very ca uh, case of, he says the line that you're referring to where he goes you know i'm not here to make friends i'm here to make money and then he sort of did just 
run round half of the ring, but it was more a case of getting the crowd. Oh, one of the one of them ones. Yeah, feeling the moment with the crowd. Okay. Um, it, yeah, it, it's a shame that Punk's return. They had an hour of commercial free Raw. They had a, quite a packed Raw with Cody Rhodes making an, an in-ring promo. Randy Orton. Randy Orton making an in-ring promo. Randy Orton's first singles match back since since May 2022. And then CM Punk gets the last eight minutes and it's a, we've got to get through this. Yeah. You would, obviously with the last second last segment being Orton versus Dom, you can't cut anything from anything else because they've run over. But you kind of need some overrun <laughs> in that instance. They had other things on the show as well that could have, like that, I'm not complaining about it because I think it, it achieved what it wanted to yeah. booking wise, but that big long tag match. Mm -hmm. Like you could have cut that down maybe or something some or one of the or maybe one of the silly backstage segments with Tazawa dancing. Nothing Doing against the, the, Tazawa because he's great. Jelly roll. But I mean come, Yeah. Come on. So, I, so it makes me think what what else had they planned for Punk to say? Or would it have been a case, as you said, there'd be less gaps, there'd be less yeah. more time for the crowd to to feel the aura of Punk in the arena? I think so. I think that would have served it better, possibly. Uh, an AEW star has reacted to Punk's role return. A lot of AEW people have been a bit tight-lipped about Punk, um, mainly because I, I think the the the... The opinion in AEW seems to be, well, let's just get on with it. Come on, let's just do it. Yeah. Um, Comicbook.com asked John Moxley about Punk's debut promo, and he simply said, "You don't want to know what I think. I didn't see it, so you don't want to know what I think." <laughs> well, I, I could, I, I believe him. I believe yeah, he didn't I, watch I it. I truly believe he didn't watch yeah, that at yeah. all. No. Um, but also, Fraser, he talked about being the guy that AEW's kind of turned to when there's been a change of plans or a, a sudden emergency. Yeah, he seems to have been thrust in that spot numerous times, and he says, "I feel like I thrive in those situations. Scramble the effing." Jets and get Moxley in the air. Oh, F, we don't have a main event. You've got to make people care about this and make this a main event in a week. I just pull main events out of my ass when I'm in those situations. I feel more comfortable when I'm the guy with the ball in the fourth quarter. Basketball. It's basketball. It's hard not to want to grab the ball and take the shot myself. So which, hard. I mean, I fully. I you get feel, it. You I feel get that? It. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me and Moxley are. You're very. You, yeah, you're very, very similar in, in many ways. You do the. When you walk into work like that. <laughs> Um, when you go to make a cuppa, you you blade everywhere. <laughs> it's it's they're so similar. Um, it's actually quite scary. I mean, just imagine coming back to my desk, just sitting down very normally, but just everyone's like, oh, there it's he a is. crimson mask. There he's going yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a rambling promo sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always fun with Jack in the office. Claudio Castagnoli spoke exclusively to Coldaholics Tom Campbell yesterday and revealed how the AW roster rallies during the bad times. He said, I think it riles everybody up. In football, you can see another sports reference. In football, you can see how good a team actually is when they go through hardship, like when they lose their star player, how it rallies. I feel the AW has rallied extremely well in difficult circumstances and to overcome what is thrown at them. If people get hurt or if people leave, it just shows the depth of the locker room and talent willing to step up. And I think he's he's not wrong. Like AW does a really good job of having talent band together. Like Moxley was sort of saying there, every time they've had a hardship, as much as a lot of that has been centered around CM Punk over the past few months, everyone around it seems to be all right with each other and be able to put on a good show that they're not flexible to the plans of the story, but you can see there is a team effort there from people. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and they sort of do rally together. And, and I think Claudio is one of the guys that, is very good at that alongside Mox. Mostly the BCC, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they're pretty good at that. They're pretty, <laughs> pretty damn good at it. Danielson, particularly, you know, and, and Moxley as well. So it's, uh, yeah, I I'm a chuff for Tom to get a chat with Claudio. Absolutely. You, we can hear more about uh, Brian Danielson and some news regarding him in, in the next news video up on this very channel Ooh. today. And also, you can catch that full interview Fraser was talking about with Claudio and Tom on Cultaholic soon. Claudio also talked about his tag team with Seamus, The Bar, oh, the Blackpool lovely. Combat Club group chat, and... <laughs> It's very Tom Campbell. Yep. And as a big coffee enthusiast, also, this is really Tom Campbell, <laughs> also described each member of the BCC as a type of coffee. As a type of coffee. I'm trying to think what, I feel like Wheeler Utah is like an espresso. Okay. Maybe. Maybe Danielson's in a, a Cortado, a slightly I'm not gonna bigger join espresso. In. No, I'm not going to join in. <laughs> um, check that out. Check no. out the interview when it drops to see what Claudio decides. And uh, stay tuned to the channel as well for more wrestling news coming up later on. I've been Jack. This has been Fraser. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below, and we'll see you soon.